Yes, hello. Hi, Mr. Muller. It's, um, Cheryl. I, I think I have what you're looking for. When can I see a picture? Um, tomorrow. Good. It's been such a long time. Okay, well, I'll see you. Brush those pegs. Hi, Cinderella. Jonathan, what a pleasant surprise. I bet I know why you're here. Come in, come in. Woo! You gotta clean up these water pants, Mrs. Bush Arms. They stink. Today, we don't want to get here. No, no, don't do that. I'll be back after someone. Oh, you are a sweet boy. Thank you very much. Hi, Tiger. Yeah. How's your breakfast, Mr. Pussycat? Oh, 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 Ti Tiger's the healthy one. He knocks his little brothers and sisters all about. <laughs> In two weeks, you're going to be able to bring him home. Your mother said no again? Oh, these children. These fruits of neglect, of divorce. But the day will come. Armageddon. I've warned you all, haven't I? And this, this mother, who won't even let you have a cat. Is she insane? No, Mrs. Bushalms. I, I gotta go. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be critical, my dear child. It's not that. It's just... You can't tell anyone, Mrs. Bushamps, but I'm meeting my father at Jensen's before school. Oh, yes, the father, of course, the father. But, but you won't be able to go to Jensen's. Why not? Well, because Jensen's is closed. They're fixing it up or something. Why? I don't know. I went there the other day, and there's just workmen and dust, and it's all a terrible mess. Everybody else is going to Mitchell's in the next block. Now, you mark my words, if your father's in the know, that's what he's going to do, too. Good 
Good morning, young man. Good morning. I'm waiting for my dad. Mm. <laughs> um, he'll be having coffee, black. And I guess I'll be having chocolate milk, please. Okay, uh, why don't we wait till he arrives so the coffee will be nice and hot? Okay. All these people from Jensen's? Gosh, I hope so. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Can I get you some coffee? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> This better be good. Go back to class, Marguerite. Hello, Martha. Sarah, I'm sorry to wake you. Oh, Sarah, I know what this is about. Jonathan hasn't committed to a career. What can I do? I try. I was checking on him. He's never missed a day of school, and I hadn't heard from you, and I wanted to make sure he's okay. Why should he be at school? It's Saturday, Sarah. What are you doing at school? Still a little dedicated, are we? Gotta remember you, the last protester at old Columbia U. Heroic and alone. It's Tuesday, Martha. Oh, yeah, of course it's Tuesday. Well, I must have dozed off after, you know. Yeah, Jonathan went to school. Why, what, he's really not there? No, it's, uh, it's almost nine. He's not with you? Hold on. Sarah, he's not here. Are you sure he left for school? Yeah, of course I'm sure. What time? What do you mean what time? I don't know the exact second in, in time to get there. He always goes with uh, uh, the older boys, Richard and Matt, and a bunch of them, yeah. No, 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 they haven't seen him. Do you think something's happened? No, I don't. I, uh, I just wondered. Um, look, this is probably nothing. Please don't get upset. But I, I spoke to one of John's classmates who thought he might be with his father. Patrick is in England, acquiring fame. Besides, he's supposed to let me know when he wants to see him. Now, why don't you have a look around outside, and I'll, uh, I'll see what I can find out from his little friend here at school. You know, it's possible Patrick is back, and John's with him. Simple as that. So don't worry, OK? Yeah. Thanks, sir. Uh, thanks for calling, Sarah. Bye. Honey, I don't think your daddy's going to make it today. But I'll watch out for him and tell him you were here, OK? You're already late for school now. Ah, uh, my treat. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, is, is your name Jonathan? I, I couldn't help but overhear what you were saying there. My name's Lawrence. I work with your father, and he told me to come down here and, and meet you, and I didn't realize you were sitting right there in the next booth. But you are Jonathan, right? Where's my dad? Well, he's going to come meet you as soon as he can, but he just got tied up in this meeting, and he, he couldn't get out of it. He's, he's really sorry. He's not coming? Yes, yes, he's coming just as soon as he can, and we're supposed to decide where to meet him and, and let him know. I, I came down here so you, you wouldn't have to sit here alone. <laughs> You, I guess you're pretty disappointed, huh? I gotta go to school. No, no, you don't. No, Jonathan, your dad called the school and they said it'd be okay just for today. He did? It's okay. I mean, he knows how much you like school, but one day... How do you know my dad? Well, we, we work together. I'm right down the hall. Then are you his publisher? <laughs> no, I'd, I'd like to be a publisher, but... Uh... <laughs> Maybe someday. I'm, I'm, I'm an editor. Your, your dad writes things, and I sort of, you know, fix them. And... Look, why don't we just decide where to meet your dad, and then we'll uh, call him and let him know. Well, you know, maybe he could meet us at the zoo or something. Your dad said you might say that. Well, 
My dad knows me pretty well. Well, look, would it be, um, would it be okay if I walked you there? I mean, you seem like pretty interesting company to me. You don't mind being with an old grown-up. <laughs> would that be okay? I, I guess so. Well, okay, then. We'll go to the zoo. We'll call your dad from there. How about it, huh? Jake? Did you know that giraffes are related to deer? They're even related to hippopotamuses. No. Mm -hmm. Most people don't know that. I'd have to say that next to cats, giraffes are my very favorite animal. Hippopotamuses are related to giraffes? No, I didn't know that. Let's see. Um, on my behalf, no one would laugh if I'd only half the grace of a giraffe. <laughs> That's a poem. Not a very good one. But... Do you like poetry? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I make up poems sometimes. You do? Yeah, not very good ones either. You know, cats are my favorite, too. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you have one? I used to. Not anymore. What about you? Yeah, I have a kitten named Tiger. Only my mom won't let me. Hey, you can tell me, Jonathan. You can tell me anything. I keep great secrets. Well, you know, she won't want to keep them in the house. You're too much trouble. That's crazy. Cats are no trouble at all. I know. I'd let you keep a cat. You can have one cat or two cats or five cats. Or... I mean, you love animals. Doesn't she know that? I guess so. I don't know. Well, and if you wanted to keep a giraffe, that'd be something different. Or two giraffes. I mean, you know, they're kind of tall. Can we call my dad now? Um, <laughs> right, sure. Um, let's just find a phone. I think there's one over here. Okay. It's morning. What do you want? Look, Jonathan never showed up at school, and nobody knows where he is. I'm going to go over there because I don't know what else to do. I left a note for him on my door over there telling him to come over here in case he gets here before I do, okay? Will you be home this morning? No. I'm going to Borneo. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, stay awake, okay? Take a drink. Hey, uh, don't worry. You probably just forgot where you put him, sweetie. I swear, I don't know how she ever got custody of a terrific kid like Jonathan. She's a good mother. You know what I mean. No, I don't, and I don't want you to tell me. Miss Jennings, I know you try to protect her, but everyone knows that she's a drunk. I'm surprised you'd listen to what everyone knows, Julia. I thought you were smarter than that. What happened, Martha? I don't know. You'd never let him leave the house alone, never. I know you. 
Were you awake when I left? I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, I fell asleep or something. I, I didn't sleep very well last night, and I think I took a sleeping pill. He's probably just gone somewhere else. Where? I mean, he, did he say anything? He would tell you, wouldn't he? He wouldn't just run off. I don't remember, Sarah. I, look, I, I'm getting over the flu, and I'm on this medication. It's just lethal. Look, Martha, listen to me. Don't take anything until this is all over. You promise? Sure. Oh, no, don't worry. Yeah. Julia, I, uh, I want all the children in the auditorium in half an hour. Maybe someone saw John today. Oh, also, would you bring us some coffee, please? Great. You remember Mrs. Tierney, Jonathan's mother? Now, she wants to know what John said about meeting his father. He didn't say anything. Marguerite, you told me it was Jonathan. I did not. It was the other kid. Look, Marguerite, we don't know where Jonathan is. Now, you're good at solving mysteries, and we need your help to solve this one, okay? Now, maybe he's with his father, or maybe he's someplace else. I'll bet you know all kinds of secret hiding places he might be, places no one else knows about. Could have gone to Mrs. Beauchamp's. Mrs. Beauchamp? Who's that? She's an old recluse who lives on Sydney Place. Why would he go there? I don't know. Jonathan might be in trouble, and if you know anything, tell us. He... he has a kitten there. A kitten? He said you hate animals, and you wouldn't let him have one at home. Why would he say something like that? That's what he said. Sarah, I'll go read. Thanks, honey. This is Beauchamp's number. Thanks, Julia. You know what? Yeah, just she lives in the neighborhood with about 500 cats. Maybe John's there. Hello, Mrs. Bo... Oh, hello, Mary. No, this is, uh, this is Sarah Jennings from St. Edward's School. I can't afford to give anything this No, year. no. We, hello? We, uh, we, we just want to know, is Jonathan Tierney there? Not now. Did he visit you this morning to see his kid? Yes, yes. He yes? He the father at Jennings. When? Before Thank school. You. Goodbye. Jonathan was there. He, uh, went to Jensen's Cafe to meet his father. Patrick. I don't believe. No, of course I believe it. Why didn't you tell me not to marry that jerk when you had a chance? I'm going to Jensen's, and I'm going to enjoy this. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm looking for a little boy. He was supposed to be here about uh, 8 o'clock this morning to meet his father. He's been real busy all morning. Uh, 8 years old, wearing a school uniform from St. Edwards. Really? Nobody's seen her? Uh, she's not sure. She's been really busy all morning. Damn! Should we, should we try Patrick's apartment? No. He doesn't get to do this. I'm calling the police. Cheryl? Yes. Yes, Lawrence Muller. Did you pick him up yet? Yes, I have him with me. I just wanted you to know that he's... he's wonderful. So intelligent, it's just... Where are you? The zoo. He adores animals. <laughs> I mean, he is... he's perfect. He's absolutely lovely. You have no idea how long I've waited for this. You know where to take him? Um, uh, yes. 536 West 102, number 5A. Are you going now? Yes. Soon. Good, I'll see you there. But I just wanted to thank you. Guess what? He even loves poetry. <laughs> uh, when, when will you be there? Three o'clock. Three o'clock? No. What do you mean three o'clock? Ten o'clock. But it can't be three o'clock. It's ten o'clock. We said ten o'clock. You, you told me ten o'clock, not three o'clock. Ten o'clock. This is my time with him, damn it. This is my time. This is our deal. Ten o'clock, not three o'clock, right? Okay, calm down, okay? Just calm down. I'll, I'll make arrangements for ten o'clock. Good thinking. Yes, 10 o'clock. I'll be there. Okay, good. Calm down.
Yeah, hi, I'm trying to contact uh, Patrick Tierney. I believe he's a guest at your hotel. Do not think of him as a child of divorce, Sergeant Mooney. It's a waste of your time. Yeah. And it offends me. But you're pretty sure your husband took him. Well, I never knew he wanted to be a single parent, but... You know, that means he had to get in touch with Jonathan without your knowledge. No, Jonathan would have told me. He's a very honest boy. He didn't tell you about his kitten, Mrs. Tierney. He didn't tell you where he was going this morning, so I don't know, do I? What is this? Why, why am I being interrogated? You're not. I'm just asking you a couple of questions. Okay, look. Now, this is an easy one. Because you said on the phone you didn't know exactly what time Jonathan left the house this morning. Now, why not? Because I went back to sleep. Mm -hmm. What, you made his breakfast, you did the normal morning routine, chatted a bit, but you felt a little sleepy. So before he left, he dozed off. I took a sleeping pill last night. Mm -hmm. Now, school starts, what, 8.30? But Jonathan left Mrs. Bochamps. Well, after 7.30. Now, that means he had to get up at least an hour earlier than usual. If <laughs> my kid did that, I would swear he was meeting the Martians or something. I mean, didn't you think to ask why so early? Didn't it occur to you, maybe Jonathan was going somewhere other than school, which would mean he'd be out on the streets alone. I was asleep. I didn't see John this morning. I don't know what time he left. Mr. Tierney checked out of his London hotel two days ago, and the kid still hasn't shown up at Jensen's. Yeah? You have a photograph of Jonathan, Miss Tierney? Yes. When was this taken? About, uh, about three... About three years ago. When he was five? You don't have anything more recent? Maybe at home? Uh... No, I, uh... I don't... I, uh... I don't feel real well. Where's the ladies from? Uh, I'm up the stairs to the left. You, you want me to go with you? No. We are wasting our time with her. Do you know who she is? Or was? No. That's Red Tierney. She used to write a column for the New York Times, Red Tierney. That was a byline. I used to read it all the time. And she's one damn good investigative reporter. She won two National Journalism Awards in the process. She's a courageous, loving person. Don't say you're wasting your time. Where's John? Well, it's good to see you, too. Isn't he here? Here you go. That one's yours. Did you talk to my dad? No. I, I don't know what it is with him today. I mean, he's, he's still tied up in a meeting. Yeah, I saw the paper on it. It happened over there by the monkey. I'll tell you what, let's take a walk, OK? I don't know. They're going to learn. It's not safe. What about over there? Your father's secretary said we should meet him at his agent's apartment. Where? Where? Um, uptown? Dad says his agent lives in New Jersey. Right. Right, he does, but maybe he's got an apartment in Manhattan. Maybe your dad made him rich. When do we have to be there? He really didn't say. Look, Jonathan, if you don't want to do this, you know, we can just... Here. You can take 
Take this and you go out there and get a taxi and you can go back to school and you can tell them that you're not going to see your dad today, okay? That's a good boy. I'm not going to go see my dad? No, not today, you're not. Uh-uh. Please, Lawrence. Sure. We'll go see your dad. I just want you to be happy, that's all. You know, I didn't know that I was going to make a new friend today. It's nice. It gets a little lonely sometimes. How did you arrange to see her? Jonathan and I have been writing to each in our last letter, I You're supposed to ask me when you want to see him. Martha, I didn't want a fight, and I sure as hell don't want one right now. So you just had him lie to me? You didn't realize he was going to be out there on the street by himself? Well, he wouldn't have to lie if his mother wasn't some irresponsible drunk. Hey, bastard! Oh, I'm a bastard. You watch your manners, My manners? What? Your manners. Yes, sir. Okay, kids, come on, let's go. Move it, move it into the auditorium right now. I can let's smell go. it from here. Let's go. I suggest you we continue go. this elsewhere. What do you say? Were you planning to take Jonathan away from his mother? Is that what you told him, huh, that I took him? Is that That's what you're telling exactly people? What I look like. Why didn't God. you tell her you wanted to see him? Because I missed him. I haven't seen my boy in four months. We were going to hang out for a half an hour, you understand? Yeah, I understand. In the past, my ex-wife has made it real difficult for me to see my son. Oh, what? In the future, I suggest you ask. You understand that? Sure. Good. You happen to have a recent photo of Jonathan, Mr. Of course Jr. I do. Does he know how to get in touch with you? Of course he it does. He's got my phone number. Where'd you get that? I've been on all the bridges, but the Brooklyn Bridge is my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's a beauty, all right. What about the West Side Highway? You been on that? Uh, no, I don't think I have. <laughs> well, let's take the scenic route then. Okay, cool. All right, children, let's get lined up. Partners, everyone's here. You want me to drop you at the house? I can walk. Martha, it's on my way. And Martha, I wonder what? What with all the uh, publicity on my new book, I, I wonder if. Um, Kidnapped him for a ransom? Yeah. We weren't that famous yet, Patrick. It's the same old Martha and the same old mouth. Where'd you get that picture of Jonathan? What difference does it make? Hey! Why don't you do us all a favor and uh, try and stay sober? Yeah, and boy, I hope they find Jonathan soon so you don't miss any more of those important meetings. Did I see you climb out of a Jaguar a little while ago? 
I'm glad I got at least one famous friend. Who was that? Oh, boy, you look terrible. Oh, thanks. That was Patrick. Patrick, he's back? You two getting back together? Oh, please. Looks like he's doing pretty good. Maybe you ought to. We can't find John. Don't worry about that kid. He's eight going on 15. He's probably out playing hooky with some underage girl. Come on, Red. Come on. You need a drink. The cat would not drag you in the way you look. Now, let me think about this. What is it again that you drink? Vodka, right? What a memory. I, I don't want a drink. Well, you may not want one, but you sure as hell need one. I don't want a drink. What? Where are you going? I'm going out. Look, stay here and answer the phones, all right? John the kitten. We'll be bringing him home soon. Would you like to see Tiger? He, he is really, he is very cute. Oh, uh, John's disappeared. Oh, what happened? Well, he was here with you this morning? Yes, I told the lady that. Well, well now the police are looking for him. Uh, did, did he talk about going anyplace else? Police. Now, they blame me for not letting him go to Jensen's. Why do you think he didn't go to Jensen's? Because it's closed. For refurbishment. It's, it's open. I was there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did, did you tell John that, that Jensen's is closed? But I bet you very kindly told him someplace else he could go. Because if you, if you did, then I, I could go there too, just in case. What do you think? Well, the people at... Mitchells. Mitchells! They're very nice. been since you've seen it? In four months. I've grown a lot since then. I'll bet. Oh, look. Leopards. Hi, kitty. He never went to Jensen. No, he went to a place called Mitchell's Donut Shop. It was on the next block. The waitress there said that she saw a man talking to him inside. She thinks they left together. What, did he mention anything at dinner last night to you? No. A teacher, a friend, somebody he's going to meet? No. Martha, I want you to think, all right? You got a tendency to uh, forget things, and this one's important. Look, you don't have permission to dump on me anymore. Where'd you get that picture, Jonathan? Why is that so important? Because you weren't here to take it, so somebody else took it. What's the big secret? I wanted a photograph of Jonathan. Roger recommended this guy who works at the agency. He's a, he's a junior agent. His name is Barry. He's an amateur photographer. I asked him if he'd take some shots of Jonathan. And so he waited outside the house with a telephoto lens, and he took some. Got it? You told a stranger where we live? Martha, he's not a stranger. He works at the agency. Do you know him? Do you know who he showed the pictures to? For God's sakes, woman. If you'd have been a little more reasonable, I'd have come to you, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Go to hell, Patrick! You wanted to see me, Mr. Fremantle? Actually, I wanted to see you, Barry. I'm Martha Tierney, Patrick's ex-wife. Oh. He said you took some pictures of my son, is that true? Yeah, he asked me to. What'd you do with him? What's the problem here? I was just doing a favor for Mr. Tierney. Where'd you have him printed up? I did it myself. I do all my own printing and development. Uh, you show him to anybody? No, I gave him to Mr. Tierney. You still have the negatives? I have them. <laughs> Good. The police will want to see him. The police? You want to tell me what this is all about? Pat. Pat, I just heard. I'm so sorry. Are you holding together okay, buddy? Just fine. 
How did you know I was here? I was married to you for 12 years. So what's going on here, folks? I have no idea, Mr. Turner. I wish the hell someone would tell me. Someone! <sighs> Our son, Jonathan, has disappeared. What's that got to do with me? Well, we think somebody took him, Barry. Hey, you don't think I had anything to do with this. Who did you show the pictures to? Nobody. I told you. What are you trying to pin on me? Don't be naive, Barry. New York's a marketplace for kids like Jonathan. Those pictures get in the wrong hands. He could end up in the wrong hands. Oh. Thank you, Roger, for spelling it out. Hey, wait a second here. I'm not into pornography. Nothing like that, OK? You asked me to take the pictures, Mr. Tierney. Will you just relax, Barry? Nobody's accusing you of a damn thing. Martha. Are you all right? Roger, have my car brought up from the garage. I'll take you home. I'm fine. I'll take care. No, no, you are not fine. I want to help you. Will you let me help you, Martha? We're in this together. Now get it together. Sylvia, would you have Travis bring Mr. Tierney's car up? Barry, don't do anything stupid like leave. Hey, I got nothing to hide, Mr. Tierney. Shut up. Wait for me here. Let's see. Oh, sorry, wrong way. No, you're right. This way. This is it. This is it. Five. A. Bingo. I can't believe it. I mean, he said between 12 and 12.30, it's 20 to 1. I mean, maybe he got stuck in that same traffic that we got caught in. I thought you said you didn't talk to my dad. I talked to his secretary. Look, we're right by the river here. Why don't we take a look and see what we can see? Are there any... See some ships or something? What do you see there? There's a statue. Lives here. Huh. Well, you know, maybe they're just moving in or something. Then what's all this stuff for? Oh, I think his wife's a photographer. That's probably her equipment. I thought you said it was a small apartment. Well, it's not. Why don't you stop asking me so many stupid questions? Sorry. I, I was just teasing. You know, I'm, I'm, I like it when you ask questions. I mean, you, I admire that in a young man. I really do. You're very smart. Hey, are you mad at me? Hmm? I don't want you to be mad at me. You OK? Come on, let's, let's find something to do. You know the photograph I showed you? The kid, his name was Jonathan. Remember? Uh, no. Oh, wait, maybe I do. Why? He's been kidnapped or something. And they're asking me about this picture like I was, I don't know. Who? Who? The police? No. Might come to that, though. His parents. Well, what did you tell them, Barry? That I took the picture. That's all I did? I didn't say I showed it to you. Don't worry. I mean, I think I'm connected to it. I don't know what. I mean, it's, it's got me freaked. I can't believe this is happening. You want my advice? Don't tell them anything. Well, I, well, what am I, I told them? I, there's nothing to... Especially the cops. Promise me, OK? There's nothing to tell. Well, then, there's nothing to worry about. Oh. going on? Jonathan is missing. I asked you to stay here and answer the phone, not to get crocked. What the hell's the matter with you? Oh, what's the matter with you? Do you take the pledge? 
is your son. Go on. Go on home. Martha, come on. Go on, go Martha, join your own down. house. Calm down. Martha. Well, why don't we just get out of the kitchen and see if we can get something to drink? Hmm? I don't want a drink. Where's my dad? Well, I don't know exactly. He's Martha. not coming, is he? Of course he's coming. You're not his friend. He wouldn't have a friend like you. You're a liar. Come back here. Hey, 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 hey. I'm warning you, Jonathan. Help! Somebody help me! Stop! You can scream all you want, Jonathan. No one's going to hear you, huh? Now, come on. Come on. <laughs> said the waitress at Mitchell saw John Lee with a man. Yeah. He's a tall man. He had dark, wavy hair. Is that all the description you got? Dark, wavy hair. Would you sit down, Mrs. Tierney? This. We couldn't get a word out of Mrs. Beauchamp's after you talked to her. I understand you spooked Barry Weller pretty good, too. This is killing us. I'm sorry. Uh, I just know the photograph's important. You, you'll still talk to him, though, right? Sure. She's not in Canada by now. Mr. Tierney, you think this Barry Weller character's into anything weird? Weird? No. No, I don't think so. Why don't you stay here with your wife? She no. needs you. No. Couldn't you get someone to answer the phone at your apartment in case John calls in? I got an answering machine. I mean, I guess I could. Sure. Hey. I'm sorry I yelled at you, Katie. You should have told me it was serious. There was a man around here. A man? On the street in the neighborhood. What? What are, what are you talking about? I'm talking about this guy. 30s, I saw him. What did he look like? <sighs> he looked like he had a great body. <laughs> Sexy, kind of intense. Did he have wavy hair? Yeah. Kind of combed back. I'll draw a, a sketch. What in the hell is the matter with you? Why didn't you bring this up earlier? Oh, don't you rag on me, too. I didn't know it was important, okay? Are you sure about this? Because I don't want any more. Any more what? Huh? 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 How'd you stay married to this guy for 12 years? What are you doing? Drawing a picture of this guy. Yeah, I'm an artist, Pat. Ain't it a surprise? Drunks can draw. Open the door, John, then I'll break it down. Hello. Lawrence, it's Cheryl. Cheryl. Yes, don't worry, I have him here. What are you doing? What are we doing? Oh, we're just playing some games. Well, don't forget mm -hmm. about 10 o'clock. Don't you worry, I have him here, safe and sound. Okay? Ghosties, long-legged beasts, 
things that go bump in the night. May the good Lord deliver us. Amen. Amen. Jonathan, Jonathan, that was your father on the phone. He's on his way. What are you doing, Jonathan? photographs too? I don't know who that is. I didn't ask if you knew him. I asked him if you gave him the photographs. No! I said no! How many times do I have to say it? Until your mouth stops twitching. Do you mind? Could I get on this? few hairs are showing. I think you better tell me everything you know. <clears throat> Jonathan, come on. Jonathan! Come on now. You don't have to hide. I'm not going to hurt you. Jonathan, come on now. Damn it. Why, Jonathan? Why are you running away from me? Come here. I want to talk to you. Come on. Come on now. You don't have to run away from me. I'm your friend. I, 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 
I just want to love you. Come on. Come on, this is stupid. I don't want to play. Come on, Jonathan. Jonathan, I know you're here! Hey! Oh, God. <laughs> Pasquale, this is ready for duplication, okay? Jake, when he's through... Lock it up. It's off. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to use three cameras tonight, okay? 100 seconds to... Yeah, 10 p.m. It'll be there. No, I don't know where he is. <laughs> oh, are you Ben Nikolai? Yes. We're looking for Cheryl Mason. Understand she works for you. That's all right. You can deliver them tomorrow. Uh, listen, listen. Um, this is probably nothing, but there was a, um, a detective Mooney at the ballet school looking for you today. I can't imagine why. Parking tickets? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, no, they they don't send detectives for scoff laws. Uh, he. Uh, he said a Barry Weller told him you worked at the school. You know this, uh, this Barry Weller? He's an acquaintance, yeah. Oh. Well, sit down. Sit down. <sighs> I've been rough on you lately. I'm sorry. And um, if you're in some kind of trouble, I want to help. <laughs> no matter what it is. Hey, hey, taxi! Taxi! I gotta get to Tribeca, Hudson Street, fast! Barry was the photographer. His, wa his uh, father wanted some pictures of his kid or something. Anyway, uh, I stole the negatives from Barry, and that's the picture I showed you. <laughs> so why are the cops involved? Cheryl, if you know something, just tell me. It'll be all right, baby. Come on. Just tell me. Well, uh, I, uh, showed the picture to, uh, a customer. He, uh, wanted some action, and I made him promise to give me the kid back when he was done, so we could use him tonight for the filming. He took the kid? Yeah. Why? I mean, uh, did he pay you? A thousand bucks, but I, I'll give it back, That's then. That's all right. That's all right. What's his name? Uh, Lawrence Muller. And he's got the kid now? Yeah. Where? Uh, I don't know. <sighs> Cheryl. <laughs> it's Sal's job to get the kids. You're just supposed to deliver the tapes, remember? You stupid bitch. You trusted some horny pervert to pick up this kid. Do you know how fast he'll talk if they pick him up? Now, what were you thinking? Where is he? 
I don't know. It's okay, we've got enough backup. 10 4. Forget how stupid coming this. here was, and forget how stupid I am to admire you for it. But did you see anyone else besides Barry leave this building? Do you think he had time to do this? <laughs> These were in her pocket. Look like locker keys to me. Get someone to find out what they open. She uh, banged her head on the radiator. Bedroom is a mess. Somebody really tore it up. There was a, a guy at the elevator. Who was it? What did he look like? I couldn't see his face. Well, seems like you walk in a minute earlier. We got two corpses on our hands instead of one. Lucky you. Answer the phone. Play like your sheriff. No, I can't. This is Tierney. Don't get timid on me now. Uh, uh, hello. So, something's happened. What do you mean? He's, uh, I, I can't find him. Who? Oh, who is it? It's Lawrence. Cheryl? She... Oh, my God. Who was it? Is that my name, Lawrence? I couldn't find the negative. Maybe Cheryl threw it away. You're not going to be able to reach me for the next couple of days, but I'll be checking in with you regularly. Okay. Now listen, Francine. The police will be back. I was in Jersey visiting my brother. And then I took a little vacation, uh, taken in the fall colors, some crap like that. But I cannot be reached, do you understand? Yeah. That's my girl. Now. Burn these and find out where Lawrence Muller lives. How horrible. Where's Patrick? Uh, Mooney called. He, he said he needed to talk to him. He, he won't be long. Did you recognize anyone from the, the mug? Nah. What the creepy looking perverts. Red. Oh. Red. Can't go cold turkey like this. Not now. Not with all this going on. You gotta let me help you. Ah. Just let me give you a little bit of fun. No! No! No!
learned a few things about Cheryl and Ben. You want to hear? Absolutely. He's a porno king. His specialty uses legal age girls who look a lot younger. And about uh, three years ago, he got arrested. One turned out to be only 14. Got a deal with the DA, closed down. Now he runs a real estate business, has a fast photo shop, and a ballet school. It's all legit. It's very respectable. Mr. Ben Nicolaitis is a scum lord. He's into kitty porn now. That's his true calling. Pretty tight ship, too. Child exploitation unit didn't even know he had an operation. We found the lockers. They took the keys. Each one had a package of kid videos in it. Cheryl must have been uh, Ben's distributor. She'd probably sell the locker keys to pedophiles, chicken hawks, we call them. You can't arrest him? No. I can't prove it yet. Anyway, he's away taking in the fall colors. The real nature well, We found the uh, negatives for Jonathan's photos in Cheryl's apartment, too. Well hidden. I don't understand. I, I don't see the connection here. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't either. Not between the man in the sketch and Cheryl. Maybe, uh, no, I don't know. Maybe what? Maybe Cheryl procured for Ben. You know, found the kids for the video. Oh. You, you could have a convulsion. You could die. You could die. It's worse than a heart attack. If you don't have a drink, you're going to have a convulsion. You know, I tried drying out once. I checked myself into this detox center. And uh, I, they shot me up with, um, uh, I don't know what it was, legal drugs. I woke up in the middle of the night. There was this monster over my bed. <laughs> I, I started hitting myself. I thought I was dreaming. I was wide awake. I wouldn't go away. It was the most hideous thing. Thing that I ever saw. I could even smell it. <laughs> you believe me, Red, it is not worth it. Yeah, you just don't want to lose a, a, a drinking buddy. That isn't fair. I'm worried about you. Yeah, well, you should be, Katie. <laughs> I think I'm an alcoholic. I know you are. I can stop drinking. Any time I want. And so can you. Now is not the time. What are my options, Kate? What, there's no other way for me to do it now. All right, all right. You go ahead. You do it your way. But you have got to take something. Listen to me. I've got some value. No, Dip. Just put out. Where are you, Lawrence? Let me take that thing. What's, what's this? Oh, a locker key? Where are you? I will find you! I will find you! Ah! I just walked Katie home. Are you all right? You don't have to stay. I know. I want to. Did Jonathan want to live with you? I mean, is that what you were planning? I mean, I, I, I understand if he did. You mean, did he want to run away from you? No. He loves you. 
I just wanted to see him, Martha. He hates it when I drink. Yeah. But he doesn't hate you. He doesn't know the difference. Do you? Can I ask you something? Why did you start drinking? I, uh, Martha, I really want to know. I'm not accusing you. Yes, you are. You moved out, remember? You, you preferred almost anyone to me. I moved out because you're a drunk, Martha. You're a damn drunk. Here we go again, huh? Here I go again. Well, it's got to stop. You understand? It stops right now. Martha, I want to understand. I really do. But we both screwed up here. First with our marriage, then with our son. Well, we got to take some responsibility and stop blaming each other. Because we both want him back. I want him back! <sighs> you you want to know? why I really moved out, the truth. Because <sighs> I was jealous. Martha, I was jealous of your writing. I mean, you were so damn good. You're busy all the time. And then you started drinking, and that made it real easy for me to blame you, and damn it, I blamed you. And uh, these other women, Martha, they were just uh, other women. They weren't you. Well, I was busy being red tearing anyways. Did you know I was nominated for a Pulitzer? Oh, you think that surprises me? You're a hell of a writer, Martha. the writer. I came home so excited. Well, after a celebration lunch at the bar with the boys, of course. And the house was empty. You weren't here to tell. I, I think it was the first time that I realized that you were really gone. So I got really drunk. I don't remember Jonathan coming home from school. And I was still out cold the next morning when he left. He got there safely that time. So when I came to, I, uh, I took all my little journalism awards and threw them against the wall out back. You earned those awards, Martha. I earned an empty house. I had so much to live up to. I was red tyranny. How could you be jealous of me? You can stop drinking now, Martha. I know you can do it. When I see Jonathan brush those legs, wouldn't he just do if he had? And from the ghoulies and the ghosties and the long-legged beasties and things that go bump in the night, may the good Lord deliver me. <laughs> Thank you.
I think this is, Patrick. Some inspired, uplifting end of a novel? Next time I'll take a drink. Or the next. Or the next. See, that's the way it works, Patrick. The demons don't just go home. Oh, it's pathetic, isn't it? I agree. I agree. I agree! You don't understand! You don't understand! Oh! I want to drink! More than I want to write! More than I want you back! More than I want my baby back! I want to drink! Oh. Oh. I don't... The guy in the sketch is Lawrence Muller. Who is he? How, how did you find him? Well, I got a call from a couple of tourists from Utica. They were watching the news. I saw the sketch. They called in. They said he's Lawrence Muller, and that's when I remembered that son of a bitch. Excuse me, man. You have any sugar, Mr. Tierney? Seems that Muller was a professor of literature at Syracuse a while back. This was six, seven years ago. Pillar of the community, boy, do I love that phrase. He was coaching some local swimming team. His son was on the team. He got caught molesting another kid, nine years old. Yeah. I talked to the judge in the case. 
I woke him up, too. <laughs> this is kind of interesting, because the judge said that Muller was genuinely remorseful throughout the trial. While he was in jail, he requested all kinds of psychological counseling, help him get over his problem. In fact, he was released early, only served five years. He was cured, according to the prison shrinks. I never trust psychiatrists. Those cockroaches aren't cured in jail. They raped! <laughs> How the hell could he be cured? He's a chicken hawk. It's like an addiction. Never goes away. Sorry. Uh, this Lawrence, then, is the same one who called as Cheryl's, right? Yeah, he probably is. Well, then that would mean that he's connected to this kitty porn ring, right? Somehow. What does it mean, then, when he says, I can't find him? Hmm. That's what I've been asking myself over and over all morning long, Mrs. T. saw all that stuff in the bedroom. Look at all of this. Look here. They didn't take enough. This is no ordinary burglary. Whoever did this was looking for Lawrence Muller. He must have a stash here someplace. Keep looking for it. There's no address book. There's no appointment book. There's no nothing here. So, we'd want to know where he is and why. Hey, Sarge. Look at that, Mr. Respectable. How about this? Isn't that cute? A pillar of the community. Hey, bingo. Numbered tapes just like the ones we found in the lockers. Oh, boy. That a baby. Here we go. Hey, boy. What if this uh, Sir Lawrence of Syracuse was one of the uh, Cheryl's regular customers? Except this time he wanted live action and he got Cheryl to supply it for him. Yeah, okay. So, what if I would have been Nicolaitis, kitty porn king? And I discovered my delivery girl delivered a kid to a customer instead of a tape? Then you'd want to kill her. Maybe. No, maybe. I'd want to kill Lawrence Muller, too, if I could find him. Because he blew the whole operation, right? Then I'd have to kill Jonathan Tierney. Stop running away, Martha. Mm. 
club soda. It's a good drink. How do you keep finding me? Katie told me this time. You know, on the news, they refer to you as a best-selling novelist. And to me as a former journalist. Bastards. It's gonna be okay. Can you see anything out your window? I saw a river. Can you tell what river it is? No. Try to remember. There were some leopards outside. And, uh, and across the street, there was a weird statue. And, and, and the doors, they were all made out of glass. Did you see a, a, a street sign or a house number? It's uptown. He said uptown! There, you see the, the leopards and the glass doors. Now, child exploitation was spot checking these tapes that we got out of lockers in Lawrence Muller's apartment. And I saw a few of them. And I remembered this when you mentioned the leopards. I, I want to see a, a house number or a street name or something. I know this is the Upper West Side. Or the Upper East Side. The point is, he's in the building. John is there. Oh, yeah? Even if he is, for how long? I mean, the bad guys watch the news, too. They know we're after him by now. And, and how are we supposed to find this damn house, anyway? Hey, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Where are you going? I look for the building. What are you gonna do? Drive around for a thousand blocks? What are you gonna do, Sergeant? No, no, it's okay, Jonathan. I'm not gonna hurt you. Just come talk to me. Come talk to me, okay? Cheryl's. She's been hurt. Lawrence? Just a minute. You're Lawrence Muller? Over here. What do you want? So, um, if you had your kick shed, Larry, where's the kid? What do you mean? Where is he? He's gone. He's down here. He escaped last night. You can see for yourself. <laughs> if he's escaped, then why are the police still looking for him, short eyes? No, oh, good! You know, you make me sick. You get it on with kids, and you make me sick! Where is he? I told you, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you let him go so he can run tell the cops all about you? Larry. It took me a while to figure out Cheryl gave you the keys, pervert. 
What's the ladder for? Oh, an attic. I never even knew that was there. What do you do? Punch you in the nose? <laughs> hey. Come on hey, come down, here. kid. You won't you be here. Can, you can't go up there. You get away from him. You get away from him. Come down here. Get away from him. You get away. He's mine. He's mine. He's mine. He's mine. on the machines. We can get the addresses to the DMV. I think it belonged to anybody's car. Patrick, people in New York kill for parking places near where they live. There, there. I knew it, I knew it. Here, write it down. Uh, APG113. Look, look, it's the same car as in the last tape. It lives there. It lives there. Tierney, please tell Sergeant Mooney to get me these license plates on these addresses. Uh, fast, and please call off Officer Kelly, number 2893. Uh, He's giving me a ticket. Tell him to give me a police escort instead. I got you. OK, these are all New York plates. APG 113. APG 113. Yeah, GTI 346. BNM 932. You got it? We'll get back. Yeah, got it. Very impressive. Shades of red tyranny, huh? Yeah. Jonathan. Jonathan? Jonathan, we're safe now. That man won't hurt us anymore. But you have to come down now. It's time to go. Jonathan, please, believe me, nobody's gonna hurt us anymore, but we have to go now. We can't stay here anymore. You're a liar! A dirty, thinking liar! I hate you! I hate you! All right, if you, if you won't come down, you know I can make you come down. Is that what you want me to do? I can make you come down, Jonathan. You want me to do that? You want me to light a, light a fire? Is that what you want me to do, Jonathan? I can do that. You know I can do that. You want me to light a fire? Okay. Yeah. Mrs. Tierney, got those addresses. Okay, shoot. Uh, 40 and 41 West 103rd, Third. 68 West 102nd. Second. Great, okay, tell Mooney to meet us in that area. Hello. Yeah, uh, tell him he's been scooped by a superior wit. Okay, you got Yeah, it. thanks. Okay, 2103rd, 1102nd, West 2nd. 103rd Riverside, let's go! <laughs> Smell the fire, Jonathan? Better come down before it's too late. Come on. Jonathan, come down now. Jonathan, come on down. Hurry, hurry, hurry up. No, Jonathan, really, I need it. Hey. Jonathan. Jonathan, come on now. Come on. Jonathan. Side Street. No, I think it's Riverside. He said he could see the river. Okay, this is 103rd. 
Martha, the statue. Look, look, glass doors. Stop, stop, this is it, this is it. Look, leopards. My God, what's that? There's a fire up there. Call the fire department. Pleasure to be scooped by you, Mrs. Tierney. I'll miss you, Red. Uh, I'm gonna need to go away for a while to learn how not to drink in a couple of weeks, and uh, I'd like you to stay with John. Of course I would. Martha, it appears to me you've stopped drinking. I stopped for Jonathan, now I have to stop for me. Well, then you will. Yeah, I will. Martha? <laughs> 